schedule 20 events. Alleywack Productions. You know, making the decision on my own and, you know, trusting my work. This is a team you want to be with the pass or north-south dribbles. Attack the press and traps with the pass. Give up good for great. Give it up early. Okay, tonight, tonight we had 18 assists and we missed a ton of opportunities in game one. 20 plus assists tonight with the pass. And don't catch and dribble or rebound and dribble. Catch and see and then advance with the pass. Okay, second key, active hands. Get your bricks out in the gap. Get high hands on the catch, okay? Our hands make them miss with elite hands and activity. Deflections, loose balls. We've been really good this week in practice with our hands. High and out, nothing down here by your side. Right, Zoom got them on it in practice. Right, you got a deflection, so that's great. Then the third one is sharpness, all right? It starts with our warm up, with us all having shooting shirts on, having good language out there with you anytime you see kids or people courtside saying hello and smiling and then on the court playing together right play together right be, be connected huddle huddle on whistles as we get ready to be a national championship team our overall level of sharpness let's have a good dynamic a good dynamic and then now we'll step okay extended family uh, they've been taking me in as one of their own I mean, you know I'm blessed to you know have a spot to stay with you know a roof over my head and have you know 11 people who care about me Patty and Larry is those two people's names and uh, I appreciate them for what they did all these people out here coming to watch us this is a big recognition night for us people that got host families like myself so they're gonna do this little recognition and stuff like that giving them flowers most families you know a family that you know you stay with there's a family that volunteer to let you live in their house, you know, get to know their family. So, you know, it's pretty easy, you know, living in by yourself. And it's just another family just in that. Order! 
Show love. You see it. Come on. They yeah. show love, man. Put that right hey, here. Hey, Doug. Right you here. see it. Oh, man. Go, oh, dog. You see the love, bro? Oh, no. I appreciate this. Here, yeah, take a picture, Jordan. Hey, man. Just dog showing dogs. Final four, man. Oh, yeah. That's the goal. That's the goal. For sure. I got you. Appreciate you for coming. Nice meeting you guys. What's up, Bob? What's up, my man? How you doing? Good to see you. You play well, man. I play the high. Yeah, we just gotta yeah. keep building. This pops right here. Yes, sir. OG. There you go. Keep stacking days. Keep getting better. This the, this the Diallo right here. Yes, sir. This the Diallo. <laughs> you, can't, you can't play like me. You I used to watch the move, man. You can't do that. <laughs> With them to Ivory nah, Coast. I wish uh, I was. This is this is prolific right here. We got you look around at the school. We got the gym right here. A bunch of the classrooms over there. And then right here is the team house. That's where a bunch of uh, other players stay. You go over here. It's like a little gate. It's in a small spot. Like if you go back there, you see like sheep. I kid you not. Sheep, little goat. They got these little dogs walking around. <laughs> It's hilarious, but like I said again, you see it, it's where we compete, we grind. It was a big transition for me, 100%. Coming from, you know, Tacoma, Washington, you know, just living here by myself in, you know, Nampa, California, with, you know, playing against, you know, a bunch of the top guys. And my main reason, you know, coming here, especially for my senior year, was I wanted to do everything in my chance to, you know, prepare myself for the next level. You know, what I did at Curtis, you know, is something that I will never forget, you know, with the coach, to the coaching staff, to all my teammates, you know, we made something special at Curtis. And, you know, I wanted to make, take another bigger step and just take it to the national level, especially for the high school. So, you know, uh, Prolific Prep was recruiting me uh, throughout the season, and, you know, a bunch of other prep schools were recruiting me. And I kind of knew going into my senior year that I wanted to, you know, take another jump. And, you know, Prolific Prep was just, you know, one of the easier choices for me. And, you know, it's been great ever since I've been here. I've been getting better and competing with top guys, top competition. You know, it's more focused on just basketball. Uh, everything is, your schedule is more, you know, flexible on your basketball. You know, public school is more, you know, you got your school, your six hour day school. And then, you know, you got practice and then you got to, you know, get your workouts in. But, out here, you know, I got a bunch of time to work out, a bunch of time to work on my game, a bunch of time to work on my body. And those are, you know, uh, things that were important for me. I just been, you know, coming in here every day, just trying to get better. You know, and we've been going at it, you know, trying to get that Geico National Championship as a team. You know, I got the two states. You know, I saw Jamal Crawford, so did Dick play in the 90s in high school. And uh, I mentioned you as uh, with Jamal Crawford's couple of the best players in Washington State history, and that's a high compliment. So now I'm trying to get that big national one, so that would be a big accomplishment. What I elevated my game is not having to have the ball in my hands 100%, like play without the ball. You know, we got two number one players on our team. You know, everybody came from somewhere where, you know, they were the best guy. So, you know, I'm not going to have the ball every possession or be able to make a play every possession. So I've been, you know, working on, you know, playing off the ball because I know that, you know, that's going to happen eventually wherever I go, league, um, college, you know, just playing off the ball. And what I learned here is, you know, like 
more team concept things like how to really scout, how to really watch film, how to really, you know, all the defensive principles as a team, all the offensive principles, like how to move. And it's been very detailed. And I feel like that's been, you know, a big step that I took coming here. I took a couple of visits to other prep schools, but I didn't take a visit here. What I was kind of thinking about was, you know, I'm in California. There's nothing really too bad that I got to really think about. Like, I'm in the sunny part. Of the, I didn't know too much of Northern California, though. But I was like, you know, I'm in Cali. And then I get from the airport. Airport's like San Francisco. That's an hour away. And then we come down to Nampa. And people told me, like, it's known for winery, this and that. Then I came here, and it was just a complete like culture shock a little bit I would say because it's like the town is very very small and it's like I grew up with knowing a bunch of friends and family so close to me and like coming here was just a new environment for me so when I first came here it was different like I had to kind of get adjusted to it but now I'm adjusted to it and all that but it was real different for me I'll say that for sure it was different there's not too many black people out here that's one thing too so uh, that was pretty different. Man, my coach Ryan Bernardi, funny story on that too. So I didn't take a visit here and I didn't see him until uh, the first session of the Adidas circuit, my junior year. Taking a bunch of these phone calls, I'm talking with him. And when I'm talking to him, it sounds like an older, older guy. You know, he, he's real professional about himself. But I see his Instagram, like I see what he looks like. I meet him and he tells me like he's 26. I'm like, my brother's 26. Like, that's my head coach. Like, it was it was not a big deal, but it was like, my brother could really be coaching me right now. He really takes the game serious. Like, he's not just you. Like, you won't you can't tell he's just a 26 year old at all. Like, he's real precise about the game, about coaching. He's on this heavy. He does a lot of, you know, studying about the game. Like, he knows what he's talking about. So, you know, my respect level of that just got even bigger. Um, he's been very hard on me, very hard on me. Like, uh, when it comes into practice, like, if I mess up, he gets on me, letting me know, like, I'm supposed to be the leader of this group. Like, I can't be, you know, doing this, doing that. And, you know, the, t the accountability part is something that I know that that's something I'm going to need. I'm going to need, you know, to be accountable to certain things I do. So, you know, he's been hard on me, and, you know, it's been great. We got two number one players. In the junior class, sophomore class. number nine player in my class. Then we got literally the best big, I think one of the best bigs, or if not the best big in the country, Aiden Shirell. Mikey Lewis, one of the best pure scorers in our senior class. Got winners, you know, an unknown name out of Portland, Oregon. 
that is now raising the stock. So we all came here with the same goal to get better and, you know, take it to another level. And, you know, when we first came here, you know, everybody was, you know, trying to find their roles. We were still trying to figure it out. Like you can tell in the beginning stages, but then as we got to play, and as we got to, you know, be with each other, like our bond is like this. And, you know, we still got a long way to go and we're still, you know, striving, you know, for that natty, so. Our team, we got some goofies and y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it. We got some goofies on our team, man. Everybody's in there laughing. Everybody's making jokes. And it's good to be, a, be around people like that. Everybody gets along with each other like this. So I think that's pretty important, especially for a team coming in like this. If y'all go to episode two, I think it's episode two. And if y'all go back, y'all can, it's in episode two, I think. When we was at the crib, and I had my net, I had all the gold. That just, a, that just shows an example of manifestation right there, you know. Just put goals out and stuff, and then you know they gonna come. I gotta get Gatorade right Player of the Year. And then I want to get invited to the USA Top 100. And I had McDonald's All American on that. I got it, man. When I first got that, man, that was a blessing. You know, I dream. I'll be sitting here at the crib watching the game, just trying to picture myself in it. And you know, the fact that, you know, I got invited to it, man, I was lost for words. Like, you know, being invited in that was like a major extreme blessing. And I was emotional too, I ain't gonna lie, I let a little tear out, but you know, that's, that's big. So I'm excited for it, coming up soon. And you know, I'm gonna just take it all in. Don't call you for Zuma now. Don't Zuma now. Zuma, Yaro. Yeah. Zuma. Tonight, McDonald's All American Night, man. First time I get to see my name with that jersey on. You know, pretty dope experience. You know, just, you know, trying to take it all in. Trying to take it all in. Just, you know, finish a good senior year. Taking all the blessings and, you know, continue to get better. Today, we're going to recognize three of our seniors. But it's a team award, it's a community award, it's a program award, it's a family award. A big, big part of our kids' individual success is their families. Zoom's family is from the Ivory Coast. All right? Aiden's family is from Michigan. Darion's family is from Georgia. They all got here with a lot of hard work and they're fantastic young men. Quick decisions offensively. Make quick decisions offensively. Make proper rim decisions and have active hands defensively. We're 55 white, horns hip at 8-2. Box up is the first base OB, twirl and snap five. 
Allen Driver. Driver, okay, physical wing and a driver, and then the big guys are flyers. Okay, first to six, and let's go have a good last two. <laughs> Let's be ready to really defend. Let's have active hands and let's run these guys out of the gym. Okay? Get on three. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 so much. last six to 12 months, um, you know, it's been fun. I mean, it's been a little stressful, but you know, it's been all part of the process. You know, um, this is stuff that, you know, I dreamed about, you know, as a little kid, you know, getting recruited by, you know, top programs in the country. You know, the, the fact that, you know, it's happening to me, you know, it's been a blessing and, you know, I'm very blessed and, you know, I'm very excited to get this done. All right, Zoom, let's get it done. Where are you headed to school? The floor is yours. First of all, before I announce where I'm going to school, I'd like to, you know, thank the man above, God, Allah. You know, without him, none of this would be possible. I'd like to thank all the tra coaches and trainers who's been in my life. Um, T uh, PJ, Tayon, um, everybody who's been in my circle. Um, a bunch of my trainers, Jarrell, everybody who you can think of. Um, I'd like to thank everybody in the Curtis community, you know, showing me love as a little kid coming in. And, you know, even though I did ended up going somewhere else, you know, I feel I, I still have love for, you know, the University Place community. And then, you know, again, I want to thank these two people right here, my mom, and my dad. Um, without them, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at. You know, my dad is one of the biggest persons in my life. My mom is one of the strongest women in my life and strongest person in my life. And um, I'd like to thank everybody. You know, if, if I didn't mention your name, you know, it's still love. You know, all my teammates, my best friend, Devin, all my close friends. But I think it's time. Where's my nephew? <laughs> For the next three to four years, I will be taking my talents to the University of Washington. Man, I, I appreciate you guys. Thank why you so was it much. Important for you to stay so why was it important for you to stay home? Um, you know, one thing with me, you know, I feel like family is very big for me. Um, you know, having these two people next to me, my mom and my dad, 
And you know, again, University of Washington, again, is not, not far away. And you know, just having a community behind me who, you know, I've been around my whole life. I feel like that was, that was pretty important to me. And you know, I just feel like, you know, going to Washington, you know, I can be the guy to, you know, just, you know, help and make an impact my freshman year. You know, I feel like the role that I'm gonna come in my freshman year, I think I'm gonna make a big impact, you know, you know, uh, you know, show a bunch of people, you know, my work ethic and, you know, my leadership skills. Just, you know, get you dug back on the map. And, you know, one thing I wanna work on, you know, just continue, you know, just sharpening up my shooting, um, sharpening up, you know, my a little bit my decision making. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right, take this off. All right, we are clear. We are clear. Zoom, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Zoom, the big announcement was made tonight. You're heading to the University of Washington. Why the UW? You know, I feel like, you know, one important thing for me was, you know, coming in and making a big impact as a freshman. And another thing I wanted to do, you know, is continue to develop my game and get better. And I feel like, you know, Coach Conroy and, you know, Coach Pondexter, you know, where, you know, two great people, you know, helped me do that. And, you know, staying close to home, I feel like it's just, you know, no better feeling than that. To have these two important people in my life, my mom, my dad, my pops right here, I love this man. And, you know, just to have them, you know, in my circle supporting me, man, just means so much. Congratulations, well done. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Let's go, Zoom! Woo! Yes, sir. Zooms on a scale of one to ten, just the last three weeks. How stressful has this been? Man, it's been stressful. You know, I was going back and forth with, you know, many schools. And, you know, you know, this is something I slept on. I slept on. I gave it some time. You know, I had people in my circle, you know, tell me, you know, whatever you feel is right. You know, and I had nobody not pressure me on my decision. This was really me just, you know, making the decision on my own and, you know, trusting my work and trusting who I am as a person. I was this close to going somewhere else. Very close. And, um, I, you know, I just stayed with my gut, stayed with my work. I told, you know, the schools, you know, that I wasn't, you know, going to, you know, unfortunately go to their school. You know, some of them, you know, respect, most of them, most of them respected my decision. And, you know, they all told me, like, you know, they, they at the end of the day, they, they know that I'm gonna make my decision on my own. They know that, you know, I gotta make my own decision and, you know, they're gonna support me and they, they appreciate me for, you know, taking the time to, you know, have, give them a chance to recruit me. You know, you can go far and, you know, go somewhere else, but you know, why not just stay home and just represent, you know, the place you've been at, you know, majority of your life or wherever you live and, you know, just having people that, you know, in your circle that are going to support you and be behind you and just, I just feel like it's just no better feeling for that. Man, Isaiah's been, you know, a big role model, but again, on this decision, he did not tell me, you need to go to UW, you need to go. He was just telling me just basic, you know, knowledge of, you know, Wherever you think you're gonna fit, wherever you think you're gonna have an impact, wherever you think you're going to, you just grow as a person and as a basketball player. I feel like being around with family and you know close people, I feel like there's there's no better feeling than that. Being close to my mom, my dad, my brother, my nephew, you know I, I've been away from home for three, four months, and I haven't seen them. And you know to celebrate this big moment for you know my family and our last name, I feel like. It was just perfect. And I think it's important for you to hear this. He said out of the top 1% of the kids that he's covered for 20 some years, he said, you take that 1% and then you take that top 1% out of that and that's where Zoom is character wise. Tell me a little bit what that means to come up a national basketball guy. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, Zoom is a great kid, really, really nice. He's, uh, he, he's got a good grade and uh, he's been respectful. Uh, basketball was uh, his top priority, and then I started with him when he was three years old, and I'm really happy for him today. And what's that feel like to have people say that as a dad? I know uh, it's special. Uh, uh, yeah, it's so special, so special. Yeah, yeah. And it means a lot to us. Too. I would like to appreciate all these coaches one by one. All these coaches who stood behind me, they were there since day one. A guy right here. I started with Zoom when Zoom was three years old. It's very, really, very really, really important for me to say thank you to them, and I really appreciate it. Coach Tony, uh -huh. I love you, man. Coach, hey, you know me. Yeah, I love you, Coach. What did I tell you? Thank you for what, what did I tell you? I appreciate it. What, what did I tell you that was that small? 
I told you, yeah. if you grow like Sandu, you will be a monster. A hundred percent. I told you, all you gotta do is grow. Yeah. Because you was a gym rat, we couldn't keep you out the gym even when you were seven years old. Exactly. Running around Excel. Exactly. Keep you out the gym. He, hey, he know. We have he know, Coach home. Tony. Ten o'clock at night, Zoom. We turn the lights out, man. Go on. He accepted me to play two years up. I played two years yeah, old, and he accepted grade. me. He played yeah. on my fourth and fifth grade team. I appreciate I knew that. He was gonna be a monster there. Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, man. Do you think? I will, 100%. It ain't over with yet, though. And not over with. Hey, hey, you're making that way, but hey, Appreciate you. You got to get it going, yes, man. You got to complete it, man. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Appreciate hey, man. We stay, we stay at home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I know I surprised a, a few of y'all. Huh? We got to play emotion. <laughs> <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Don't do that. Bro, don't do that. 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 Huh? Hey, you know I'm staying back in the chat. <laughs> bro, how many people was on there? Everybody left. It was gonna be family, seven hundred coaches, trainers, media, and then everybody else. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, you will, will best duo in the nation now, boys. You will win. Nobody got it. Make sure it was. My brother. Appreciate you. Sinquay, appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I just know there was a bunch of people home supporting me that next year when I come go over there, they're gonna be there, you know, watching me. Oh, you grew up, she grew up so much. Oh my God. Go Husky. Tariq. One more. You know, I, I really wanted to do that. I really wanted to commit and come back. Cause you know, I haven't seen, at that moment, I didn't see my family for a little bit. And you know, you know friends and family came through. So it was pretty big. And it's, it's in a moment that I'm not gonna forget, for sure, for sure. Yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Ooh. We real huskies over here. We real huskies, you see it. You duh, man. When Right when I leave here, man, I'll be in the gym. Get my game ready for when that season come. I'll be enrolling in like June, so that's coming up. I'll probably have like a month literally back home in Tacoma, then I probably have to go to UW for like summer school. There's a bunch of, you know, UW legends. I made the move to, you know, go to UW. The support from there was, you know, like no other. Like, you know, they were just texting me like, congrats. You know, go and put, put on for the hometown. I remember Jaden texting me. And he was like, you know, continue to work, continue to stay, stay level-headed. Get up, you can get out in six months. So, you know, when he texted me that, you know, that was just, that just meant a lot. Stayed home, went to UW, did what he had to do, went to the league. You know, for him to text me that, you know, that just meant a lot. And then IT, he was like, you know, you're in good hands. Just continue to stay in the gym and stay at it. You know, Abdul told me the same thing. You in good hands, way to put on for the hometown. Not too many people do it. So, you know, just hearing from, you know, those people is just, it just means a lot. My guy, Sindhu, um, He's been, you know, a big help to me, you know, in my life. You know, he's, like I said, I think I touched up in, you know, one of our last episodes that he's in Qatar, you know, doing what he got to do, hooping.
You know, continue to make his name for himself. He's out there killing, doing his thing, and you know, I'm proud of him. You know, he, um, I think his next step is probably, you know, take it somewhere in, in Europe. You know, especially from where he came from, nobody really thought he was, you know, really gonna be playing overseas basketball. I didn't really think. And then, uh, you know, he just kept getting better. Just kept getting better, kept working on his game, kept, you know, having the confidence, you know, putting it into the game. And then, you know, you see it now. And you know that he's a big part of my, you know, my life. You're lying. Oh, dogs. They're in there? Yeah. My dad brought them. And then, like, he brought hella shoes back. All right, but my question is how are you going to step in those? Bro, I got to find some shit. But I do have the cargoes that um, that I let you wear. They sit so crazy. Crazy with them? You going to wear those with the lavins? Yeah. I just got to find, like, some graphic tees. Bro, them lavins are hard. Ooh. Ooh. And they, they comfy. Yeah, Mary's, I, I, I wish I got a size up. Yeah. I could wear them. They say Justin Edwards having a good game. Finally. This game may boost his stock. Oh, is he going to get on that rim? Oh! We are looking at a Kentucky commit right here. AJ DeVance. He comes in. BBN. Big Blue Nation. Why is he leaving me hanging, bro? Big Blue Nation. Wait, and one three. Oh, you're that's your teammate. No, 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 no. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're supporting your team, though, right? What my man? You see what he got on? He got Nike. Like, come on, it only makes sense. Nike athlete, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, we're not worried about Alabama. That's D. Reed and uh, Aiden and them. Trey Schmack. Come on. Yeah, bro. Like, I don't know why you going to Auburn, bro. Just a little why are you entertaining that, bro? Just a little visit. Uh, I just got to see what they got to offer. You're not going to Auburn. Okay. Huh? Okay. As long as you know, then we're good. Who said I'm not going to Auburn? Huh? You know my game. You know I'm trying to trade it to a guard at the next level when they produce great guards. You're not going to Auburn. Okay. They, you know what they produce? The small guards that can go. That's why Tahad is going there. That's why Aiden is there. That's why Sharif went there. Maybe, maybe I won't be as tall as the next level. You never know. My, you know the next level, there's about to be seven foot guards. So I'm going to be one of the smaller guards. Stop trying to justify you're not going there, bro. It's just not happening. It's not. So they're are like my top eight. They're not. Kentucky. So Kentucky's not in your top? Say that one more time. I'm blessed to receive an offer from the University of Kentucky and based off of like the calls and the text messages they have between me and my dad, we'll think about, you know, visiting and, you know, what we got from there. But is it in your top schools? Oh, he's quiet. He's trying to be like, oh, okay, you know, Kentucky's not in my top. Then boom, out of nowhere. AJ DeMann still like, committed to if Kentucky. If I was to commit today, where would I commit to? USC. If you were to commit today without a relationship, you're committing to USC. Are you saying that because I don't visit I've been on? No, as much as you talk about USC. Because Zach went to your games too. And I didn't go to Gonzaga. So UW I'm, went to my games. I committed to UW. I don't, but I'm, I'm trolling. I don't think he's going to Kentucky. I don't think he's going to Kentucky. But I, I do know where that one, that one dude's going. Oh, yeah. They ain't gonna say too much. I think so. He wears number four. Oh, he just walked in the building. Speaking of, where are come in, bro? What you? Where you going? Nah, I just see something. My family just like, came in, bro. And they matched school. that. Where are you finna go to school? My man just came in today, bro. I don't even know. And they know. matched that, bro. Go on some visits, I tell you this, though. I'm going go on some visits, though. Huh? My man just matched that shirt, bro. You're not, he's not giving it to you. I'll change you, bro, for a chrome shirt, bro. I can't the chrome team. Where are you going to school, though? I don't know. Bro. Where's your top three options? I, I don't have a top three right now. You don't? Zed, nah. Zed, eight for eight. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> oh, y'all found me. Yo, did you dub this? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Let's worry about where he's going to school. I know Ooh, you. Who? Yeah, oh yeah, he got list on his phone. Oh, now I got a shh. I just didn't, you say, see what CV say? What did he say? What did he say? You don't mess with Alabama. You see what I got on? Don't get the toes. 
<laughs> Don't get the toes. Hey, you see the hat though. What is that? Like? ASRV. You see it though. Hey, you see it though, huh? Hey, hey, you know, you know. Ah! Huh? I can't tap in. You can? You can tap in, but it's just me and D Reed's type shit right now. What? It's just me and D Reed. Who is this at? Yeah. Just know we know a man. We got a man's. We know somebody. Hey man, you got all the you got the money stuff. Bro, come on. He got the denim tears. No, no, no. You got the, the chrome heart in the babe collab T. Nope. Come on, man. brother. There's levels. There's levels. That's what you tell him. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm trying to get like this. You feel me? I'm trying to get like him. <laughs> Turn up, 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 turn up